you have a perspective that's quite different from a lot of people that I've interviewed and maybe uh, a lot of people generally. So I also think it's a very interesting perspective. I, I want to hear about it. Yeah. So I do think succession to digital or digital intelligence or augmented humans is inevitable. So the argument, go. I have a four, four part argument. The argument, step one is there's no government or organization that that uh, gives humanity a unified point of view that dominates and that can that can arrange. There's no consensus about how the world should be run. And number two, um, we will figure out how intelligence works. The researchers will figure it out eventually. And number three, we won't stop just with human level intelligence. We will get reach super intelligence. And number four is that once it's inevitable over time that the most intelligent things around would gain resources and, and power. Uh, and uh, so put all that together, it's, you know, you um, it's sort of inevitable that you're going to have um, succession to AI or to AI enabled augmented humans. So within those those four things seem clear and 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 sure to happen. Uh, but within that set of possibilities, some there can be good outcomes as well as, as less good outcomes, mm -hmm. bad outcomes. And um, so I'm just just trying to be realistic about where we are and and ask how we should feel about it. Yeah, I uh, I agree with all four of those arguments and the implication. And I also agree that succession contains a wide variety of possible futures. So curious to get more thoughts on that. Right. And so then I do encourage people to think um, positively about it, first of all, because it's something we humans have always tr tried to do for thousands of years, tried to understand themselves, trying to make themselves think better. And... Um, you know, just understand themselves. So this is a great success from as science, humanities. Uh, we're finding out what th this essential part of, of, of humanness is, what it means to be intelligent. And then what I usually say is, is that this is all kind of human-centric. What if we look, you step aside from being a human and just say, take the point of view of the universe, and, and this is, I think, a major stage in the universe, a major transition, a transition from replicators, we humans and animals, plants, we're all replicators, and that gives us some strengths and some limitations. And then we're entering the age of design, where because our AIs are designed, our, 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 all of our physical objects are designed, our buildings are designed, our, our technology is designed, and we're, we're designing now uh, AIs things that can be intelligent themselves and that are themselves capable of design. And so this is this is a key step in the world and, I, and in the universe. And I think it's the, it's the transition from the world in which most of the interesting things uh, that are, are replicated. Replicated means you can make copies of them, uh, but you don't really understand them. Like right now we can make more intelligent beings, more children, uh, but we don't really understand how intelligence works. Right. Whereas in as we're reaching now to having design intelligence, intelligence that we do understand how it works, and therefore we can change it in different ways and at different speeds um, than otherwise. And and our future, they might not be replicated at all. Like we may just design AIs, and those AIs will design other AIs, and um, everything will be done by design construction rather mm. than by replication. Yeah, I mark this as one of the four great stages of the universe. First, there's there's dust, ends of stars, stars, we, and, and then stars make planets, and the planets give rise to life. And now we're giving life to uh, designed entities. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.